with open mind against depression. So, hello everybody, I'm Carlo Di Todaro, I'm 21 years old and I come from Italy, from Florence, my hometown, where the last March 2018 I start my round the world tour by motorbike. I'm driving a, a four-hand Yamaha 660 and I have to excuse for my condition because I was fixing my bike, it's always broke, always some problem. Uh, so I'm 21 years old and I start my round the world through like a project of life. I don't know where I'm heading to uh, but I'm, I know what I left behind me and I will travel for many years. I think from 5 to 10 years and I really don't have plan. I don't have plan about my future and I will probably work somewhere to let me travel more, like make money again, you know, I'm a budgeting travel, I'm budgeting everything. So uh, I meet in Myanmar a group of motorbikes, I was traveling in Myanmar with a tour guide and in this, two, in this crew there was um, Dieter, my friend, with his F, amazing F800 GS and we were sharing some stories, some experience of life and I entered in touch with him, a strong relationship because he told me his story and suddenly I realized wow I had a similar experience with uh, everybody we know what we are speaking about and I had a very strong bad experience with depression and panic attack from when I was 15 years old and everything started in a very in a kind of rude, very rude way for me. I've been for three years completely destroyed by this emotion, by this panic, by this depression. And after three years, during the preparation also of this travel, I was wondering if every, anything had some meaning for me. I was really ready to leave everything. I was ready to... I was ready to give up about my dream, about my life, about my friends. Everything started when I was 15 years old. I was into some, with my friends, smoking some weed, some, you know, typical stuff for 15 years old guys. And one day I realized that I lost my road. I was losing my friend, I was losing my values, I was losing my passion. And everything started from them. And I lost passion in the school, I lost passion in my friends. And everything seems to lose values, importance. And I, feel, I felt so alone in this, I felt so alone. But the passion for motorbike, the passion for a travel, had something to follow, had something to work for, helping me so much. But it wasn't enough because my depression was still inside me. I was trying everything, everything, really everything. And after three years, I couldn't afford anymore. I was ready to, how can I say, to make the big step, to make the final step. I was really ready. But suddenly I realized that I have to <clears throat> I had to speak about it. I had really to speak about it with my parents and with my friends. It was the most important things that I have done about my depression was to talk about it. In first with my with my family because I tell you the story. When I realized it, when I realized that this depression was overtaking me, I spent two weeks without speaking with anybody. I was close in my room, thinking about my life, probably something is wrong in me, something is, I wronged something in my past and I cannot fix it and probably I need another chance, you know? And I was, after these two weeks, I realized, okay, mom, okay, dad, calm down, I have to speak with you. I was crying, I was asking for help. And I start, after this, I decided to start a, um, like a therapy with a psychiatric doctor without any medicine without any external help like chemical help and in six months it changed my life completely it changed my way of thinking about 
simple stuff about my behave. It teach me. It taught me. It, it have taught me a lot. Really, really, really a lot. And in six months, I can say that I start this travel. So no panic attack, no fear of to be alone, no fear to drive so far from my town, far from my family and far from my comfort zone. That was the first things in my depression. My comfort zone was like, I cannot leave it. I cannot go away from here. I don't, I will not be safe. And that scared me a lot. I was ready to leave my 20 years old in my house with my work, with some friends, close in my, like, beat by these emotions. But suddenly I start my travel and everything changed, everything changed. And I was telling to Dieter a story about the, be the beginning of my traveling course, about I was traveling with my, uh, with my dad for the first week. He came with me to Zadar in course in eight days. And that eight days, they were so difficult for my, for my mind. Also, some, I don't know how to explain, you know, it's quite difficult to explain this kind of emotion, but I had some, like, panic attack because I was, like, carrying with me something. I was carrying with me my dad, like, okay, my dad now is with me, is my safety, but when he will leave, I will be alone. And how can I do it? I'm 21 years old. I've never been alone in my life. I always had someone to help me, you know? But when he leaves after eight days, I realized that my panic, my ansia, my stress was because I was carrying with me all my past, all my stuff. I enormous bag of emotion, an enormous bag of bad experience. I was carrying with me everything. And suddenly I realized when my dad left, he turned the shoulder and he went, I realized, wow, now I really have the chance that during that past two weeks I was dreaming like a new chance, but in a bad way, you know. Now I really have the chance to change everything. I know how, thanks to the psychiatric doctor, I have the base really to change my life. And I can say that the most important step that I made against my depression was when I realized I need help because alone, I know that I cannot do anything alone. Also in a travel, in the life, I will never say that I made this completely alone. For me, it's impossible. Everyone needs help from someone else, from someone with more experience, from your parents, from your friends. When you are alone, you are close with your mind and your emotion and the ansia and the depression can overtake you really, really fast. When you ask help, when you realize, okay, I'm, I'm not enough, I cannot do enough for me, I need someone. That was the most important step that I really made. Uh, starting this therapy for me was the best choice of my entire life because I'm here, I'm in Thailand after eight months of a very challenging travel but I can swear on what I have most important, that I never felt depression or panic attack or ansia. One day in these eight months, thanks to me, thanks to my mindset, thanks to the therapy, thanks also to the travel. Con la mente aperta contro la depressione.